Hello, beautiful people. How are you? <laughs> okay, so happy Sunday to you all. Yeah, so today I have a special person on the show. So if you are currently watching me, do well to invite all your friends and family, especially if you're a teacher and you would like to go to the US to do a teaching job, okay? If you are willing and you can, you want to apply for a job, a teaching job in the US, this is a very good opportunity for you. And so you need to start sharing this um, video. So I have Mr. O.com here. I believe most of you may have um, chance on his page on, um, on um, YouTube and on Facebook. So I'm going to bring him, I'm going to let him join us right away. And then we can begin this. Um... Hi, Mr. O. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. How are you? Oh. Also? I'm good. I'm good. Just that it's so cold, which is why I am in this. <laughs> I mean, we have the sunshine a little bit, so it's better here. Oh, oh yeah. good for you. And so it's not here on Thursday and until now. It is still very cold there. Eh? The uh, whole of yesterday, I had to wear my socks. I was in socks all day. Wow. And yeah, because of that, like, I feel so lazy to even step out. So I am home today. And yeah, the only thing is, I'm cold, but everything, any other thing is fine. It's okay, enough. so <laughs> thanks for joining me today. And thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Okay. Thank so guys, you. I reached out to Mr. O and I'm like, oh, Mr. O, we need to connect. He says, <laughs> yeah, sure, Gina. Okay, yeah. so let's decide on what time, what date to meet. And finally, <laughs> we are here. So yeah, I am here with almighty Mr. O.com. <laughs> If you haven't seen his page, guys, please go and check out his page. Mm -hmm. He is Mr. O.com, exactly how it is spelled there. He's on Facebook. We are, so he's a teacher. I'm not going to talk for him too much. <laughs> I'm going to leave everything to him. He's going to tell us how he, he's a teacher in the U.S. So I'm going to, he's going to tell us just a little about himself. Okay. So Mr. O, again, welcome. Thank um, you. Could you please tell us a little about you, where you're from, a little about your background, anything you're comfortable sharing? All right. Thank you, Gina, for having me this afternoon. And uh, thank you for all the viewers for interacting and engaging with us. Uh, it's a privilege to be here. I know I don't have the right to be here, but it's a privilege you've given me. Oh, and, no. Uh, <laughs> glad to interact with uh, your viewers as well and so that we can learn. Yeah. yeah. And uh, basically, I go by the Facebook name, MrO.com. Yeah. I'm originally from Ghana. And I am a mathematics teacher by profession. And I've been okay. teaching for the past, since 2009. Okay. Let's say 2010. Because the 2009 teaching I did was basically for um, student teaching. But that was a full year teaching. So I consider it as part of my experience years. Okay. And um, I taught in Ghana at the senior high school level. And in 2019, I moved to the United States on mm -hmm. a teaching program. And I've been here since. Yes. Oh, interesting. Brief about me. <laughs> wow. Interesting. I'm really excited about that. So you moved to the United States on a certain program. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what, mm -hmm. what's the name of that program? Yes, so the there are so many agencies that have been sanctioned by the United States government okay. to fill in the gap, to help fill in the gap for teacher attrition. Like there is so many districts that are in need of teachers. So in order to augment that, they have been sanctioned by the home office to bring in teachers from all over the world. Oh. So I happen to be on one of those programs with one of the agencies because there are thousands of agencies and i came with the agency that we normally call the epi educational mm -hmm. partners incorporated yes that's what i came with and what are some of the other agencies oh we have faces we have uh, tpg we have um spirit we have just oh. jobs connect usa mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of them a lot of mm -hmm. them they have okay. uh, ITES. 
IRR, a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. So with the agent, is it that the agent sees, um, come looking for teachers or you have to find them and email them and start your process with them? How does it, how does it start? How did you even get to hear about it? All right. Thank you. So the first thing is um, I got some friends from school back mm -hmm. in I attended University of Education, by the way. Mm -hmm. And well, whilst I was there, we, I mean, we made a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. So some of them had already been on the program. In fact, they came in previous years. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. So they actually mm -hmm. connected us. They linked us. And they said, like, okay, these are the links. These are some of the agencies. Then I went further to look for more. And, mm -hmm. and one of them, so you have to get to their websites mm -hmm. and put in your application that you are interested in mm -hmm. teaching in the United States. Mm -hmm. Then from there, they will start with you. You put okay. in your friends, they assess it. Then when you qualify, they give you an interview. And if all is well, you will be here in no time. Okay. Okay. So, so you mentioned that um, you went on their website and then you applied by yourself. What yeah. are some of the what um the or what is the websites that people can go and look at? Yes, yeah, so for me, for the agency that brought me mm. what, that I came with, it's called Educational Partners or EPI. So if you go to Google and you just okay. type either EPI or you are looking for uh, teach with EPI, teach with mm -hmm. EPI okay. mm -hmm. in dot com I and mean, once you google it it will come or if you just put in google mm. um teaching agencies okay i mean it will pop up a lot of them mm -hmm. and you can go onto their websites and take your time and read each of them have a criteria of things they require from you mm -hmm. and i mean it's all laid bread on their website so it tells you exactly the documents they want how they want things done and how their processes are, whether they charge a fee or not, they will tell you all those ones, yes. Okay, so I am not a teacher. I have never been a teacher. Mm -hmm. If I go on Google and I type teaching agencies in the US, yeah. how would I know if this agency is legitimate or not? All right, so one of the ways that you can easily tell is by going to the US Department of State website. Okay, um, guys, please, I hope you have your book and your pen and you're jotting down things because please, I don't know anything about this. So make your own notes. Don't come back to me and say, Gina, what did he say? I will refer you back to the video. <laughs> so please pay attention, okay? Yeah. Please. Yeah. So so one of the one of the easiest way to get a lot of the agencies is to go to the state of the uh, department website in the US. So if you go to state department and you see there are ways that you can search for things on the internet and it will bring you quick results. Right. What I do sometimes if we talk about if I hear somebody talking about such a program, mm -hmm. I'll go to Google and I just put in teaching jobs in the US or how do I get to teach in the U.S. on a particular visa? So, for instance, mm -hmm. I came with a J-1 visa. Okay. The J-1 visa. Because all the teachers coming, you are either coming with a J-1 or an H-1B visa. So, I can just put in teaching the U.S. on J-1 visa. It will mm -hmm. pop up the State Department website. Mm -hmm. And it will also pop up other agencies' website for you. Depending okay. on how each and each of them is trying to, like make themselves, make their presence felt on the internet. Mm -hmm. So once you do that, it gives you a varied number of them, a lot of them, mm -hmm. different, different, different ones that you can apply to. Mm -hmm. There are common ones. There are very common ones that you can easily, that are known nowadays. But there are ones that are not also known. They are also doing their work in the background. Mm -hmm. Some of them are focused on certain regions in the world. For instance, some of them that were created by the Filipinos, they are focused on the Filipino teachers. Some of them by Jamaican teachers, they are focused on the on their side. You know, so everyone 
but there are some that cut across, like the EPI, FACES, TPG, they cut across all the regions. They bring Asia, Africa, I mean, the Southern American countries, North America, all of them, they do all of them. So from there, you just go to their website and take your time and read. So for instance, maybe if you want, I don't know if you want to do it or I can just do it, maybe teaching agencies, J1 visa, you know, are good. I am also, I have mm -hmm. my laptop here, let's see. Yeah. Teaching agencies. Yes. J1, J1. visa. Good. Mm -hmm. It pops up a very first website, Bridge USA. I don't know if that's what pops up popped for you. Um, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so I have yeah, teaching program, Bridge USA uh, department. Yeah, I have that. That is. So I click on that. Mm -hmm. That is. That is a oh yeah, so I see their website with mm -hmm. uh, you know Braid USA and somebody yeah. um there's a um, a black guy and yeah. okay mm -hmm. I see that so that is where and if you go on top of that page you see programs right. for programs yeah program sponsors good good, good yeah. yeah okay and from there you can see apply to a sponsor apply to a sponsor okay I'm gonna click oh. on that yeah. Okay, so I just did. Mm -hmm. So it says become a sponsor. Mm -hmm. No, and you are. Uh, yeah. yeah. So how to apply common questions for interested as um, sponsors, current sponsors, how to all that information. Exactly. Yeah. So the current sponsors, if you go there, you should see a list, a whole list depending on how yours is di displaying for you, mm. you a whole list of uh, uh, program sponsors that yeah, are... I see R-O, R, yeah, R-O-A-R-O, -R virtual training, S-E-V-I-S, -E um, regulations and compliance administration and da 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 they are all listed there. Yeah, so I think, you see, I always tell people that I can I can take you to the riverside, but I cannot drink the the water. Exactly. For you. Yeah. yeah. We have we have shown them the way. They should go and take their time and research. And research. This is there. I mean, nobody mm -hmm. hiding it. It's mm -hmm. there. And if you want the processes that you can use to apply, you can. I mean, watch some videos we've done already, or you can yeah. go to that website and read. And but read. The people are not ready to read, so they mm -hmm. want to. I think. Mm -hmm. I think I've let them also do their rest, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O, oh, this is enough. Like, this is so enough. So, guys, please, if you would like to know more about this, Mr. O, oh, obviously, he has he has lots of videos, okay? So much videos. Go to his Facebook page, his YouTube page, and watch them. Watch them to understand how this whole thing works. Okay, so let's just continue with ours. <laughs> Good. Good. All right. So now, after you have visited the website to see um, what you need to do, you do the application, obviously, yeah. or you reach out to an agent. So what do you have to do first? What, what, what do you have to do first? Yeah, so first of all, once you go to the agency's website, yeah. most of them will list exact things they need from you. They're exactly okay. from, from you. How, and first of all, I believe most of them, their website will start with you creating an account on their mm, website right if you create their account on their website you can begin doing the other processes okay whatever they will need and whatever documents you need to upload mm -hmm. and to add the documentation as is one of the videos i did one of my first videos that I, when i started my page mm. cut across almost all the agencies demand the same documentation oh okay as the difference is just, I mean, minute. It's very little mm. between the agencies, but I mean, ninety-nine percent of the time, they all demand for the same documentation. Okay. So, if same document, you can apply to multiple agencies to increase your chance. Okay. Longer, it fits in your subject area, mm. and it says they can accept you, 
you can go ahead and apply to that. Yes. Okay. So would you want to tell us um, some of the common um, um, documents they may require? Good. One of the first, I mean, the most common one would be your certificate. Yeah. Your certificate. Mm -hmm. They will uh, demand for your transcript. Yeah. They will demand for transcript evaluation. Mm. They will demand for your teaching license. In fact, before they were not demanding for it. Now they are demanding for teaching license. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you are married, maybe your marriage certificate. Mm. If you have kids, their birth set. Because some of the agencies also will either place you or not place you based on the the age of your kids. Okay. Yes. So they will demand for that. And this is it. That's it, basically. And they will demand uh, for your passport. I mean, that is, I mean, the yeah, top basic, yeah. So the proof of it that you have a passport. And some of the agencies will also demand driving license. Okay. For faces, if you want to even apply to them, the first question they'll ask you is whether you have a driving license or not. Mm -hmm. okay. Once you answer no, it, the pro the, the <laughs> of it doesn't mm -hmm. be okay because it's a requirement you are supposed mm. to drive. nobody's going to drive you to school mm. so they want that to know that you can drive and you, you can drive yeah. so do you is there mm -hmm. a particular class they will um require with a class i'm referring to do you have to have a first class, a second class upper. Can you use a lower to apply? Can you use a third class to apply? Yes, certainly. Okay. In the application program, they don't demand for your GP or CGP. No, they don't. They oh, okay. don't pass. So mm. long as you have proof mm. that you have been teaching for at least two years. Oh, okay. After your degree. My you, if you want to teach in America, you need to have a degree. They don't care about your training college, your set A, your set B, your set whatever. They don't care about anything. All oh. the degree. So if you say you are a math teacher, you should have a degree in math or its related fields. Hmm. If you say you are a science teacher, you should have a degree in science or its related field. If you cannot prove that, then I'm sorry, you cannot even continue to do the application mm. instance you cannot be teaching tree or you cannot have a degree in Ghanaian language and be teaching math and you mm. want to use that i mean no you will not be accepted okay so you have a degree number one number two you have at least two years teaching experience experience at least two years mm. yes I, I mean recently one of the agents have increased it to actually three years i mean but they are just trying to, I mm. mean, because of certain experiences they've mm. had, they just want to increase it to two years in order for mm. in compliance, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so guys, my teachers, this is a good opportunity for you. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so now after the application, let's talk about yours. After the application, um, how long did it take for the, um, the agency to get back to you and tell you that, hey, you qualified or after you applied to them how long did they get back to you and how was the interview process like all right thank you madam gina uh first of all when you do the application when you put in the application mm -hmm. there are series of sections that you have to upload your documentation and if you upload they will ask you or oh, upload these add these mm -hmm. once after everything is done and let's say you have qualified everything is set I am really sorry. Somebody tried calling it. <laughs> no, that's and everything is said. Um, um, give me a second. Hello, okay. guys. Can you please hear me? Mr. O, I can't hear you. I just want to be sure you can hear me. I can hear you. Um, hmm, people disturb me a lot. <laughs> I can you can hear me. Yes. Okay, guys. Could you please confirm if you can hear me? If you can hear, if you all can hear Mr. O, I'm gonna, we're just gonna continue because I cannot hear him. 
Okay, so you can hear me. What of, what of Mr. O? Could you please confirm if you all can hear Mr. O? If not, you know what? If not, we are just going to end this video and come back because... Let me... Hello? I can hear both of you. Oh, they can hear both of us. How yes. come I cannot hear you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, okay, I Mr. Think... O, let's continue. Our sound is yeah, good. let's continue. Yeah. So, so please go ahead with what you were saying. Yes. So after you've applied and the processes and everything, you are qualified. They deem you qualified. What they'll do is that they will invite you for an interview. They will invite you for an, the first interview. We call it the initial interview. This interview is with the agency. Take note. This interview is with the agency. And it is just an introductory interview where you tell the, you it may, mostly 15 minutes. You tell them about yourself, what you do, who are you, I mean, basic stuff. It's just a little more steps. They want to know whether you actually put in the application. So that is one thing they will check first. When you qualify for that, qualify and that one is also good, then they will book you for the second interview. And this second interview is the professional interview. Mr. O, yeah. um, please give me a second okay. to connect my earphones to okay. this phone and hear you from this phone, okay? All right. Give me a second, please. <laughs> okay hello yeah okay miss Ao, now i can hear you good <laughs> from the other one okay yeah so please continue just continue all right so after the first interview you are booked for the second interview which is the professional okay. and that professional interview normally takes about 30 to 45 minutes okay wow to, yes and this is where they will interview you concerning the work you are coming to do as a teacher, mm -hmm. as a professional teacher. It's based purely on your profession. So they are going to ask you questions about classroom management, about how to, I mean, handle the pressure of the teaching processes and everything. And it borders on everything. That is where your professionalism comes to bear. Mm -hmm. This is also another stage where if you are really a teacher, it will show. You know, mm. questions are really connected. So when they yeah. ask you one, you answer it. They may go around and ask you the same question in a different way. Mm. It, or in a bid to check and to make sure whether you are really a professional teacher. teacher. So when that is also done, let's assume you qualify. Mm. You pass that interview as well. Now, the agency will move you to the final stage. Some of them will just conduct this. If they are not satisfied, some of them may conduct a second professional interview again. Okay. That is, if really they want you as a candidate, they okay. may give you an opportunity to redeem yourself. Okay. But at that point, mind you, there are thousands of people who have applied all over the world, mm. from Africa to Philippines to all the countries in Africa. So you want to put in your best foot. Your best, yeah you must always be prepared to put in your best foot. So when that is done and you qualify, now it is left for you to interview with the school districts or the principals in the U.S. Oh, that's a lot of interview. <laughs> yes. yes. No, yeah. It's not simple that you apply and you qualify and, and you give. And that's it. No, yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, they obviously want to be sure that whoever they are bringing into the U.S. Mm -hmm. will be capable of handling these kids you'll be you'll be That's teaching so yeah okay wow that is interesting cross processes that you go through before you come mm. okay all right yeah. so finally um if let's say you have gone through all the interview stages you have passed you're you're, you're qualified what what do they do next do they take charge of the visa application or do they 
is it is it a hundred percent assured that you'll be given a visa because you're coming through them or how does it work thank you so it is almost hundred percent assured okay it's almost hundred percent assured unless mm -hmm. you have a personal problem in the embassy already yeah. that may affect your chances mm. You know, our people have done so many things in the past, so mm. many things. So if your record is already there and it's already bad, mm. it may jeopardize your chances. Your chances. I mean, you don't have any problem. Okay. Having applied before to the embassy does not disqualify you. That is one thing people must understand. Because I know people who have applied to the U.S. embassy, maybe as a student, in the past and they've been Refused. bound or been yeah. rejected and they thought it will affect them one of them mm. got their visa last year and she is here teaching oh. because i was so scared mm. that it affect the chances no it doesn't after you have been interviewed with the school principal or the school district and they are mm. satisfied with you and you they're like okay we want you they will give you the offer, the job offer letter. Mm. That is the first thing they'll give you. And you are required to either accept it or reject it. This job offer letter will, will spell out your duties. It will spell out the uh, at least the amount of money they'll be paying you every month or every year. Mm -hmm. It will spell out all everything. And you are supposed to accept it by signing on it, either digitally or physically. You sign it and you scan mm -hmm. it to them. Yeah. Then when that is done, then the agency will work with you and send you your DS 2019. The DS 2019 is a document that comes from the State Department. After it's issued, after you've paid your service number fee. Now, this service fee, some of the agencies will pay for you. Other agencies will not pay for you. How much is that? It is normally 220 as of the last time I checked. For mm. teach about two hundred and twenty dollars okay. for student is the same thing. The students pay service fee. Students pay service fee for their IL twenty. Mm. That service fee for students is about three fifty. It's different from okay. the teachers are less. Mm. Some of the agencies normally go ahead and pay for us and just send us the uh, the receipt. That is mm -hmm. the agency I came with for instance paid for me. I paid for you. But yes, but an agency like TPG, you will have to pay it yourself. Okay. Yes, and they have their reasons because they also want to see your commitment to the whole process. Mm -hmm. Because like if they are doing everything, they are paying everything, and you decide not to come, you decide to bounce them along the way. Yeah, it means they've lost. Exactly. And yeah, these have made commitments to the school districts. They've signed contracts with them that they are going to bring you. So mm -hmm. if you pull out, it's like they are giving them a bad name. So they also want you to put your one leg in the whole process. Mm. So that is why they ask teachers to pay upfront for their own service. Wow. When you pay for this, the documents are sent to you. And with the DS 2019, you have to also pay your own visa application. Mm. The visa application, as of the last check, was $160. I think the US Embassy, as of last year, said they are going to increase it. So I think to 180 or to 200 or something in Ghana, for instance. So you have to pay that as well. It mm. is your responsibility as an applicant to pay that. And if you are coming with your family, you pay for them as well. Oh, so you can come with your whole family. Like if you, you, you have a nuclear family, you can come with the entire family when you are, you are coming. Yes. Oh, wow. Because, That's good. So some of the agencies will allow you to come first. Okay. Then later, you later. Bring them. Bring them. But some of them will also allow you to come with them directly mm. as you are. Okay. So okay. it's two ways. Yeah. But you are allowed to bring your family, your okay. your 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 partner, your children. I mean, you are telling them these are my children. They don't they don't know. They are not gonna call that mm. DNA or anything. Mm -hmm. So mm. your children and your, your partner, mm. your, or whoever. Interesting. Mr. O, so did they do your visa application or they guided you or you just after getting all the documents that you needed to apply for the visa you did it yourself how does it work all right these agencies do not do the visa application for you okay 
but they will tell you they have nothing to do with the u.s embassies in your country mm. you will have to do your own application and they have no influence on the decision of the visa officers so as to whether you'll be granted the visa or not they cannot guarantee you yeah but i am i am giving the 99 percent chance based on the experiences and the previous experiences of other teachers mm -hmm. because this is a legal program yeah. sanctioned by the u.s government mm -hmm. this is a program that is already in effect so normally you may unless you have something personal mm -hmm. they may not reject you they may not reject application uh -huh. so okay. that is why i said that way but you have to do your own application nobody would going to do it for you for you this is don't do for you that is the same way when you are applying to them they don't do anything for you you mm -hmm. have to load all your documents okay. you have to do your own application to them the mm -hmm. same way you do as ambassador yes they, nobody does it for you you have to do it yourself yeah i mean when it comes to visa application there are people who pr give promises like promises they promise people that oh i can get you a visa listen i'm going to tell you for a fact that nobody has control over giving you a visa mm -hmm. except the visa officer okay yeah. any country you're going to me i can't tell you that for this visa is 100 percent. the only thing you need to do i say this all the time you need to do your due diligence you need to make sure that you are very confident that this application that i'm putting in all my documents are intact you know i do not have any mistakes in the document that i, I am submitting and so when you submit it you you'll be you like you you'll be very um sure that you can get the visa and that is how you so all the agencies people who do visa applications for you don't put your they shouldn't you don't put your soul trust on them that by all means they will get you a visa because they are not visa officers i have done some visas that were rejected i have done some visas that were refused so nobody can assure you of that which is why it is all, always um very advisable that you even do it yourself to learn from it and to be able to to be able to correct yourself going forward okay yeah so mr oh if you don't mind me asking um this i know you do a lot of teaching on, on mm -hmm. facebook and youtube if somebody is going through these process and they have questions can they reach out to you can they book an appointment with you are you willing to um take them through the process and even if possible like do the applications for them or you you only want to guide them to do it by themselves <laughs> thank you <laughs> I'm laughing at the last part of the <laughs> Me, myself, I'm looking for people to do my application for me. Hey. So <laughs> <laughs> if someone is willing to do my application for me, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I have done a lot of videos. Hmm. I've put out a lot of information out there. Hmm. And we trying our best to do it in fact when we were coming we had no information it was blank yeah, yeah. it was like few guys who came i mean they were also overwhelmed by the system to the extent yeah. that they didn't put any information out there yeah. so unless you have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with them you have no information it's like you are just walking into an unknown space yeah. and that is that was my experience but as those who know me that is me. I, I try my best for people to also access good things in life. Yeah. I believe if I show you the way, mm -hmm. it lessens my burden. Yeah. At the end of the day, you will not be calling me for, I mean, 20 Ghana cities to feed your mm -hmm. kids. Exactly. I've shown you how to also fish. Mm -hmm. You can't be asking me for fish all the time. That was one of the questions. In fact, it was this whole thing started from Choco's page. I went yeah. in the first time I saw him on the Facebook, and I was actually sharing the information to him. Yeah. I said, Well, I have this information. I use this process, this program. So please show it to your people. Mm -hmm. Whoever is interested, these are the links. In fact, I actually put the links out there. Oh, okay. okay. But I, that was my first time of seeing that his video only popped up in Facebook. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I'm like, who is this guy? I mean, then I listened to him a little bit, and I, I, I didn't, I didn't take my time to go to his page. Yeah. How to communicate with him? With him. A deal in the Facebook, and I said, look, I have this information, and I would love you to share with your people. Yeah. He didn't answer. Then yeah. I. I still have that message on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to one of his videos and I commented and I put some of the links there. So later he reached out to me and said, oh, I saw this message and can we connect? I said, okay, let's connect. Then, so the whole idea was I was coming to tell him to tell people. Mm. But he had a platform and I wasn't, yeah. on Facebook, wasn't doing YouTube. I wasn't doing anything. Then he said, no. <laughs> I don't do that here. Come and also tell your story. Oh, so he encouraged you to come yeah. on Facebook. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. nice. Yeah. But I was learning from yeah. Sister Alma mentioned yeah. Yeah. how to create content. Yeah. So he didn't, Choco didn't let me finish my learning. <laughs> then boom. Oh. He, he underwater. I said, go and swim. Yeah. So okay. I started, I showed the way. I'm, I'm putting a lot of information out there. If you are willing, you are a teacher, and you feel that you qualify, and you are willing to embark on this journey, no one is going to do it for you. And mm -hmm. that is one thing I want to tell the listeners and the viewers. Mm -hmm. No one is going to do it for you. We will guide you. If you want a paid service, fine, you can yeah. come. Yeah. Please book in and let's have an interaction i will yeah. do the guidance and all those things all yeah. to the best of my ability i feel we have put a lot of information out there for people to be empowered yeah because the consultations yes they are there if you want a certain consultation beyond that you can reach out to me using my mm -hmm. uh, whatsapp number yeah and you send me a whatsapp we'll chat and we'll communicate then we set up an appointment beyond that side if not, if it's about application, I don't do application for anybody. Okay. I don't do application for anyone. Yeah. No application. No, I don't. Mm, yeah. Because I, I sat down, my visa application, I did my family and myself. I sat down for, because I've never applied to the U.S. Embassy. Mm. 2019, I sat down the whole one week. I was reading. I didn't even do the application. I mm -hmm. was I was reading, I was reading, gathering all my documents, making sure mm. I cross all my T's. So the day I sat to even do my application, it was just like boom, 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 boom. And I yeah. just everything smoothly. Mm -hmm. I never had any problem. But a lot of us just want to jump in. Just as some of us, some people are watching us for the first time. Yeah. Just going to jump in. Please, can you do that? I mean, somebody came and said, look, whatever money you're going to charge, I said, I'm not going to charge you. Yeah. Because whatever I want to charge, you can't pay. If I want to charge you fifty thousand dollars, you will not be getting. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we have empowered you. We have shown the way. We have sent the links out. Sit down. Because yeah. you know, trust me, people are paying monies out there. Yeah. To feel for others to fill simple forms for them. Yeah. Some of the websites are so basic that it's just like you are filling a form for. Mm mtn or anything it's just simple mm -hmm. you know so i don't see why you have to pay ten thousand dollars fifteen thousand dollars i mean those amounts are outrageous right no you know? they, they are not trust me i know a teacher who mm -hmm. paid that money ten thousand dollars yeah for another teacher to do this simple uploading of documents That's nice. him. Mm -hmm. i was so enraged i'm like you are a graduate teacher. If you cannot read and write, then I don't. You don't have any business being here. Yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah. I was, I was actually enraged about that. But that is where I'm like, okay, if you have that money to pay, why would you give us to us to chop? Then we'll <laughs> for you. <laughs> but if you come in, yeah. ten dollars or thirty dollars or fifty dollars, they don't want to pay. They yeah. are complaining. Yet they are willing. To go and pay ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars to somebody who just give them a fake document or a fake, mm -hmm. and you see, let me add this one. I mean, pardon me. That's okay. Last year, a teacher was refused. He was coming on this teacher's program. 
In fact, yes, he's a math teacher, not just any teacher. He's just a math teacher, mm -hmm. qualified. Mm -hmm. Why was he refused? He went in for somebody to do the application for him. Mm -hmm. The person charged him. And the person said, you know what? Instead of you going alone, I will add my sister as your wife. Fair enough. The first time he met that particular supposedly wife, Mm -hmm. was when we were going to the AMA to file the marriage certificate. Yeah. The second time they met again was in the embassy. Mm -hmm. And this support wife cannot even speak English. Oh. That is not a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, at the embassy, they were questioning them. You know, the visa officers, they are also not dumb. Trust yeah. me, that they, are, mm -hmm. they are our own people working in those embassies. Yeah. So there are certain things they can easily check. So they were questioned. Even that they don't even check. They didn't even go to the extent of checking the validity or whatever. I mean, you say you are married. Fair enough, mm -hmm. we understand. But in questioning them, in the interview questions, it came out that the wife doesn't even know anything about. It. It's like there it came up that look, <laughs> we are sorry, we cannot give you the visa. <laughs> we came back to the agency. They just <laughs> what? Drop your wife wait let the wife wait it's you we are interested in you are mm -hmm. our primary mm -hmm. applicant yeah go in he also went in again and some of the things that the, the agent or whoever did application put in there were not telling with the questions he was answering oh you see so they were putting things that you are not even aware of because you didn't do the application you don't own the information mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the end of the day they still question said please go back. We want to give you this visa. So he had three opportunities. Okay. They were so lenient with him. But mm -hmm. at the end, the third one, they refused him. They said, we are sorry, mm -hmm. we are not, because mm -hmm. so many things are not truthful in your application. In your application. You know, that is the reason why we always say that try and do things yourself. Yeah. And this is um, the reason why, for some reason, okay, people sometimes say they have a very tight schedule and so yeah. they are not able to, you know, sit down and do it by themselves. But you should know that even if somebody is doing it for you, you need the passwords to all your logins. You need to also review the documents that you are going to finally submit so that you have not, you have idea about exactly what you are submitting. Yeah. Okay. With this situation, it's rather unfortunate, but like if he had even taken his time to go through whatever they are submitting, that he wouldn't have found himself in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, personally, um, I always say that with visa application, it's, it can be very, it's, it's simple, but it's also delicate. Yeah. Okay. And it's all depends on you or whoever is doing it for you. Some people who will say that, oh, me, I can't, you know, I don't have time. I will want you to do this for me. It's okay if I pay you, that, 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 that is fine. But make sure, be very aware of everything that is going on. Don't leave it solely on the person. That is what I did for my visa. Me, when I was coming to school, I, somebody did my school application. But, the, but for the visa, he guided me. Yeah. Gina, you need this. Bring this, bring this, bring that. I went to get the document by myself. I put everything together by myself. I went to the, at the time I didn't apply online, I went to the embassy and I submitted it myself. Okay, so guys, you really need to take notes of this. If you are doing stuff like this, you know, you want to be sure that everything you are providing, like you are on a very good spot. Okay, you do not want to make any mistakes. Okay, so with that, um, you go, you put in your visa application. How long does it take to get a visa? Does it take a while or like the usual visa processing time? Or do they have a um, special, um, do they escalate this for the, this reason, for the teaching reason? Okay. So it's the normal visa application process, right? Yeah. So when you put it in, you know, when you go to the US embassy and if they will give you the visa, they will keep mm. your passport. Mm. And they will tell you to go for for it at the DHL office at um, what is the hotel's name? Oh right, for US it is given on the same day, right? Is that yes. It? Oh yes. yeah, yeah. If, yeah. If you, they will take your, they will keep your passport. So yeah. the moment you have your passport and they give you back your documents, they you know that I mean it's done. And yeah. they will tell you in one week 
go to the location you designated to for collection mm -hmm. so in process you will tell them whether you want the dhl collection or you want to you want it delivered to your home mm. i mean there's a fee for us so once you do everything you charge everything so i i said i want to go for it at a dhl office which is mm. right at the alisa hotel area in accra okay so alisa which of the alisa's um um there's one um right on the ring road okay yes there's one on ring road when you are going to mm -hmm. set from um aqua j you are going towards okay. the left okay. side good so i don't know if they are still there because that is where mm -hmm. the office used to At be the time. where you go for it and so maximum one week it should be ready unless mm -hmm. there's a problem with your visa application process okay if there is a document they are requesting, there was a situation where one gentleman was asked to provide a further document. In fact, the DS 2019, excuse me, he used was a digital copy. But then the US Embassy was not issuing the digital copy. Now they are issuing the digital copies to people. So he sent the printed copy in the email because the agency, I mean, he was already in hurry and the agency sent him the copy in the email. But they wanted a physical copy because the visa officer must sign and stamp that physical copy okay so that when you are entering the us at the airport they will request for that if you don't have it you go back another situation and then gentleman last year was returned back home at gfk oh. yes oh. because the visa officer who approved the visa they didn't sign the ds 2019 document oh and when he got there at the point of entry he was refused he was sent back home for it to be stamped so he came later he came very late for it to be stamped before he came in again so some of these things you must i mean watch that so if if the visa officer approves your visa and hasn't signed it please tell them they should <laughs> yeah. the thing. so it's a normal process and number two if you are not getting an appointment date you know recently yeah. some teachers have gotten their schools and all that and they were worried about appointment date and i said look don't worry getting the school is the most important thing when it comes to the appointment date the agencies will normally give you what we call the expedited letter okay letter that will expedite the whole process yeah so in and you will fill the form and you send it to the u.s embassy they will open up the portal for you where you have earlier dates mm. yes so that i mean people normally call it the emergency letter that is what mm -hmm. they do for you so most of us teachers we have the opportunity so there is no problem with delays and all that so yes so that is about the visa process it's not it's not okay. yes. yeah so they were expedited for you that is good that's good okay so now finally you 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 got your visa you you started teaching in the u.s how has it been <sighs> and <did> you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not been easy from the start, as okay. I tell all the time. It is not a walk in a park. It is okay. not that simple. But I had something in my mind, and I and I and I was focused on something. That is mm -hmm. why I'm still here. Yes. Uh, when you walk in first, as I said from the beginning, we walk in on a blank slate. Yeah. The Edikanfo or those who went ahead of us. They didn't give us enough information. Would I say enough? I wouldn't say enough information, but they didn't expose us to mm. the way I am doing it and other teachers are now beginning to do it. So we had a blank slate to work with. And we were hit with all kind of bullets. If I say bullets, mm. you know, all kind of, I mean, I mean, the cultural shock, yeah. the things that you expect that you are not seeing, mm. the things that you didn't expect that you are seeing, Mm -hmm. All these things were bombarding you in the classroom. Yeah. I mean, it's a new environment, a new system. We are used to a certain way we teach. We are used to a certain way of practice. Here, it's a totally 360, I mean, degree 10. And when so, you start the teaching, do they put you through some training? No. Or they just leave you? Oh, really? So you just no. come, you go to the classroom for the first time and you start teaching? Yes, you don't go through any training. I mean, you you put on your CV that you are a professional teacher. You have been teaching for the past 10 years. You were boosting. Yeah. You were, yeah. You were 
however you pass the interviews it shows them that you are a professional all right yeah. so that's it. so at the end of the day they expect you to bring that expertise to the classroom to bear yeah. so they will only tell you this is your mentor this is your assigned I'm a mentor somebody you can go to if you are in need of anything but you are on your own i mean when i got to florida after the orientation with the with the agency for like two days you are sent to your various accommodations that you chose you have to take uber or if you have a car already mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. now you are supposed to report to the school on a certain time once you report oh they welcome you hello mr team blah 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 they, they do all the welcome and all the nice things then the next minute they show you to your classroom yeah. in fact they gave me some markers and they gave me some few things and somebody walked me to my class my name is on the door mr Ortin. <laughs> but so i was happy i said ah, uh -uh. how can a whole me i've just i'm now in america <laughs> <laughs> you were happy that you feel around everything mm -hmm. but then it dies down after one week when the kids come and they you are faced with the reality yeah. and all the ice will melt and after the, all, the, all the ice have melted now the reality will face you where you have to deal with the students all by yourself wow. now the things you said in your interview that you can do we want to see you do it <laughs> <laughs> guys honestly you know what i feel like you need training like i feel like the school is not going to give you training but if any of you watching us right now mm. you go through this entire process and before you get to the u.s mm. contact mr O. am telling you you need to you need to have a one-on-one -on -one mm. training with him because telling mr oh i am personally saying this because when you come to like when i came let me just speak for myself when i came to canada for the first time Mm -hmm. I went to class, Mr. O. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Even uh, this one is somebody teaching me, or not me teaching them. Hello. It was like transitioning into the the studies or the school system here. I won't. I will tell you for a fact that it wasn't easy for me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. Sometimes you think you watch enough movies, you understand what they say, but like they. Like they'll be talking and well, sure, yeah, by the end of their class, can I want to say not to talk of these kids who are mostly most of them like these like they are born here. Mm -hmm. You go there and you're teaching them. And we cannot hey wow, that, that is that is a big challenge though. Like that oh, is really challenging. It is. Wow. Let me just read something to you. Somebody sent me a CV, right? Yeah. And part of it is that uh, my approach my approach is centered on creating a safe and engaging environment for children to explore learn and develop important social emotional and cognitive skills mm -hmm. to make learning a fun experience for children i use variety of creative teaching methods hands on mm -hmm. age appropriate materials i am confident that my experience coupled with my passion makes me a strong candidate for contributing to students mission now mm -hmm. all this english all this english he has done more my motivation for teaching in the united mm -hmm. states stems from my belief that providing excellent instruction to kids from diverse backgrounds is essential so you see you've written all these beautiful things yeah mm -hmm. and the most annoying part is you put on your cv that i work well under pressure mm -hmm. <laughs> statement we like it in our african content we like putting that oh around. everywhere even when you're applying for jobs <laughs> it means I'm, it's inside my cv <laughs> it's inside my resume <laughs> i work well under pressure yeah and when the pressure has been you have been exposed to that pressure then you are running away mm, you need to be able to prove yourself yes mm -hmm. after you read all this english long cv very nice one yeah. You provide hands-on cognitive skills, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> now we want you to put that to work. Now the children are before you. Put theory to practice. Yeah. That is where the, the disconnect is. Because on my channel recent this past week, I've been telling teachers, look, let's start practicing the things we are talking about before you come. 
-hmm. let the euphoria about me coming to teach in the United States, the money, let it be on the minimum. Yeah. Let's face a reality. If you've been shouting mm -hmm. on your students in a way to control your class, stop. Now start implementing scientific and professional means of controlling your class. If you've been knocking students' head, stop it. Start using professional means of addressing misconduct in your class. That way, when you get here, you are no more in a shock. Mm -hmm. you know? Because yeah. now you don't have any of those tools to use, any of those African tools to use. Yeah. You must now use the professional because you hear the kids, they will shout at you. You cannot shout back. Oh, yes. They will yell at you. You cannot. They will, mm -hmm. will insult you. You cannot insult back. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many things that is the opposite of how we practice back home. So mm -hmm. my beat to them, look, if you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, that is fine. In fact, oh, yesterday, yeah. I was supposed to have an onboarding process for three teachers who have already gotten their school. And I've segmented it into about three sessions. Uh, the mindset, the preparation, and the arrival. Mm. So we can walk through. And this is just behind the scenes training that I want to give them. I never had that. Mm. I want to see people succeed. I want to see if, yeah. if they succeed and I succeed, our name will be on the good books of some of these principals. Yeah. They wouldn't want to let us go. They will be interested in bringing more Ghanaian teachers. That yeah. way... Or we'll get an opportunity but if we don't perform you know it's it's like that yes. it will Nobody... definitely affect anybody who wants to come in the future yeah yeah so i tell yeah. people i am not doing this because i don't have anything to do it is because i want the ladder not to be broken mm -hmm. that same ladder that we climb on let us maintain it let us keep mending it and make sure that we put our best foot forward let the name of Ghanaian teachers be on the lips of these American principals. That way, opportunities will be created for a lot more people. And the, the way we want people to succeed, yes, if you succeed after all, I keep saying, they will not take money from my salary to pay you. Yeah. <laughs> you do your job, they pay you. In yeah. fact, some of the new teachers who are coming, three teachers who have gotten their appointment letters already from, I mean, from the page, they are going to, some are going to take $33,000 a year, $70,000 a year. Yeah. When I was coming, I wasn't even taking that. Even coming, I'm mm -hmm. not even taking $63,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's an improvement on the processes that have already begun. In fact, teachers are walking in to some of the districts are offering them H-1B visa. H-1B visa is another type of a work visa in the U.S., okay. which is like one step to the green card. Okay. You know, so if you are a teacher and you are coming in with the H-1B visa, that is better. That is even far better than some of us who came with the mm -hmm. J-1. Because mm -hmm. J-1 is a longer process, it's a longer path, mm -hmm. you know. So it is just an improvement on the whole thing that has begun. And that is what we are looking at. So I tell people, if you want, come, let's talk. If you don't want, I'm doing my best to put the little information I can out there. Mm -hmm. Other teachers have already begun. In fact, a teacher came last year. He has already opened his, um, started his YouTube channel, putting up informations and teaching. And I said, that is good. Yeah. A lot more of them are hiding. They don't want to come out because they are overwhelmed by the whole thing. Mm. And it's, the pressure on them is too much. So that is what I'll say about that. And, uh... So for <laughs> now, would you, so would you advise that people come with a J-1 or the H-1B visa? It depends on and the is school. There, do they have a special um, process for each of them? Or is the same process? No, the processes are okay. different. Are different, so okay. If, if a school district wants to offer you H-1B, they will offer you H-1B. Oh, H-1B, not V. Oh, okay. Yeah, H-1B yeah. visa. Some, some school districts do offer that. Mm. But... Some will also want you to go to the agencies first before they will even offer you the H1. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's like that. Some, if, if you are lucky and you, the school, you see, the process of recruitment is so overwhelming for the school districts. Mm. So they don't want to get involved in the direct recruitment process. That is why these agencies come in. They bridge the gap. Mm. 
Because, look, I can tell you the principals are busy. The HRs in those districts, they are busy. So can you imagine them interviewing about 1,000 teachers all over the world mm -hmm. for their school districts? They don't have that time because there have been so many other things. Teachers are calling them. The, the district workers are calling them. So how would they also have time to interview you? Mm -hmm. So that is where the agencies come in. They do all the interviewing, all the documentation processes, filing the police report and everything. Oh, one document I left out, sorry, was a police report. The police report. The police, it is one thing they require a lot mm -hmm. because you're coming to work with kids and they want they want to know that you don't have any bad any record. Criminal, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's um, something I forgot. Wow, 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 wow. Processes wow, wow. The same basically yeah. it depends who the streets what they, they want yeah they want yes. this is this is a like top-notch information <laughs> that mr O has given to us today i i can see lots of comments there's this long really <laughs> yeah um rexford let's see what he says kudos on you too every single are you um, compelled to upload every single document for your family if if so um to the like, maybe if you tap is it if you tap on it i will see i, I can see it on the screen so that tap oh on right it. yeah this way this this way is good yeah so that we yeah. can all yeah 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 i think let's do it this way and let's answer questions and that will be it are you compelled to upload every single document of your family mm -hmm. if so uh i wish to come for them later what about the money is not enough for the family documentation you want to go all right so uh Redford, you are not required to upload every document for your family at the time of application as i keep saying the agency is interested in you the applicant mm. they're not interested mm -hmm. in, you. in your family yeah it is you the applicant that is the 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 one they want so you focus on yourself. In fact, you can come here and then go and bring your family. Hmm. They will give you every documentation you need to go and bring them. The, the right thing is for them, for you to come and settle, get into the mood, make sure that you know your routines as a teacher, know what to do, what not to do. Then you can bring them. The family coming is a lot of emotional support and psychological support. That is why they're allowing them to come with you. But in reality, it is you alone that they wanted. So it is not a problem. If you don't have their documents, if they are not ready, in fact, I will not even advise you. I've, I've told people that I don't want them to be uploading family documents now. When they ask them, they should say they will come later. Because most of the agencies are now using that to also refuse you. If you have children that are less than five, they know there will be a problem for you as a teacher. So they are not going to allow you to come with those kids. And because of that, they can tell you, we are sorry, you don't qualify because of mm. your kids. In fact, faces will tell you right in the face that because of your children's age, we cannot bring you. And the five years. Yes, and the five okay, years. Okay, so what, then I think the best way is to come by yourself until your yes. kids are old enough. Don't even add right. them. Just don't don't even? <laughs> yeah, okay. Because if you say, uh, oh, Gina is my wife and you want to bring, they, they don't have any problem. They don't mm. have any go and check that Gina is really your wife or not. You are telling yeah. them. Mm -hmm. And the document you present to them is what they'll use to bring them. That's, mm. that's it. Yeah. Okay, great. There's one more question. Let's see this. How will they confirm that you have two years teaching experience? Oh, <laughs> they know. Look, you completed university in 2010. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows. If you completed university in 2003, Everybody knows you don't even have one yeah. year teaching yet. Yeah. So no one is, what, is... what if after school you haven't had a chance to even, like maybe the government haven't posted you and so you haven't even worked? No, you see, the main thing is this. After completion, at least you have two years after, at least two years. So mm. that means two or more. Mm. All right. So if mm. the government has not posted you, it means you've not been in the classroom. Mm. So number one, which school are you going to use? Because they will ask for your principal to provide documentation. They will ask you to take a letter. So we have mm. one, one of the letters, let's say, I don't know, two of the uh, documents that they will need from you. 
is job return letter, mm. then also proof of employment. Okay. Something to prove that you have been employed. You were. Okay. At first, they were not so strict on it, but now mm -hmm. they are taking pay slips to prove. So you have wow. to prove, yes, to prove that you have been working and you have a pay slip, you have that, and unless they're mm -hmm. private, so they have a document they will demand from you to check. I think we have answered this question. If yes, we I'll just take it off. Have we missed that one? Mm -hmm. Which one is that? Doing basic education. K -tool. Am I calling Yes, that? basic, yes, basic mm, they need, but catering, I'm not so sure. You see, it's not a strong area. It's not an area that is in high demand. Mm. So you may apply, you are qualified, all right, but you may not necessarily get a school that, that needs that particular uh, teacher. Mr. O, I want to ask this question for a friend who went to University of Education. She did mm -hmm. home economics. She Good. did both um, food and clothing. Good. She can teach management in living, probably mm -hmm. um, general knowledge in arts, um, yeah. you know, and the other courses. Can mm -hmm. they apply? Are they qualified? Yes, by the virtue of them having a degree, they qualify. Okay. But by virtue of the subject they are teaching, mm -hmm. may be a problem. Right. Because the subject area is not in high demand. Mm. High demand in the sense that they don't they are not looking for management teachers. They're not looking yeah. for catering teachers. Mm -hmm. not, it's not something they really need because if they want, there's so many of them here that are yeah. already doing those jobs. Mm. <laughs> And some areas too are much more reserved for indigents. Mm -hmm. So they may not necessarily be, because look, mathematics teachers in America are going to the industry. So mm -hmm. there's so much gap, so mm -hmm. much space for we the mm -hmm. mathematics to come and fill. Science teachers are leaving the classroom to industry. So they will need to replace those science teachers. You know, subject areas that you know that, I mean, elementary teachers, most of them mm -hmm. are leaving because the keys don't respect the keys on the, so there's space. So that is like, unless the person is teaching at the elementary level with that particular certificate, then he or she, even though you qualify, your chances are very slim, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just going through the, the questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with this, Nana Bafo says, yeah, size table is never, a tangible reason. I believe <laughs> this year. <laughs> Nana. <Okay. laughs> it's never about me. I like this one too. It's never about time. It's ignorance, fear, and unwillingness to learn. I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. And oh, I think this is a very fast message, right? Okay. okay. Um, how long does it take to get um, your school interview results? I think you well, mentioned that. No, if you, if you interview with the principals or the schools and they want to go ahead with you, within 24 hours, you have a response from them. Within 24 hours? Yeah, they'll tell wow. you. Wow. Because they are doing a lot of interviews, okay? Right. So if they do the, all the interviews and they think, oh, candidate A is what we want. Here, they don't hide us. They will reply you to, to that way. Oh, we are mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, we cannot go ahead with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, congratulations. You've been given a job. Okay. okay. You know, okay. So, I mean, mm -hmm. maximum a week or two, unless the principal maybe they still want to do more interviews. I mean, you'll get a result in immediately, yeah. Somebody is asking, is accounting teachers needed? That is why I say accounting is also another area that is not in high demand. In I mean, high demand. Accounting, okay. economics and stuff, but it's not in the high demand area. Yeah. Mm. Mm. ICT, yes, you are qualified. They need ICT teachers, but it's not mm. a highly demanded area. You know what I mean? I mean, I've, I have uh, one ICT teacher from Jamaica. So far, he's the only person that I've seen as an ICT teacher on the program. 
Mm-hmm. Since then, I've not heard of anyone coming with the idea. Mm. Yes, yeah. Yes, you can apply. Okay. You can apply with the uh, beard in primary education. That's elementary education. They need them. Mm-hmm. Yes, they need elementary teachers a lot. Yeah. Because diploma. I don't think post diploma year. No, we only mentioned bachelor's. Yeah, post deep. It depends on how the person did the post deep. You know, okay. some people, some people did three years in training college and they did the post, and they have a degree mm-hmm. in whatever they did. So that qualifies them as well because I have a lot of teachers here, especially the elementary level, who went to training college and did a post deep. So they also qualify. Yeah. Okay. But it okay. depends on the subject area. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. Yeah. 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 I know you had the family. I don't know which number to call. So let me let me ask them and then I'll let you know. The US is the company. Ah, you're not talking about this. We know I'm not gonna I'm gonna take this away because we have already Chris um Ofoku, we have already answered this so please watch the video again financial accounting um yeah it's it's all accounting oh yeah so what are the subjects in high demand we mentioned um math um you are muted yeah. sorry 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 yeah, all okay. areas math science biology um physics you can think about it and elementary Special education is also in very high demand. Special education, very high demand. Okay. So they, they need language teachers as well. French, English, they need all of them. Yes. Oh, French. Wow. Yes. Yes, okay. I have a lot of okay. Yeah. Okay. So Baba, I'm just gonna show this, but we have answered it. We are not gonna go back again, just to yeah. let you know. Yeah. Yeah. of education as a leader too. Oh yeah, he's more than qualified. That's the same okay. course as math with ICT. I'm more than, you are more than qualified. Wow. Okay. That question brings me to the fact that I went to a private university that is affiliated to University of Education. I went to University College of Management Studies. So yes. with that, do I qualify? You qualify. Hey, my Yukon's people, where are you? Come on, come, come. The on. Long, <laughs> the long hey. as they practice. Unless they are not teaching. Practice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. If, if they are not teaching, fine. If they went, if, if you went to management and you did any course that is in high demand and you are practicing, you qualify. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Social studies. Do I qualify? Yes. Social studies. Which level is it teaching? Is it elementary level or middle school or high school? If you are teaching social, him, uh, mm-hmm. high school or middle school, your chances are very slim. I mean, like 2% chance. But if you have social studies and you are teaching at the elementary level, your chances are very high. You know, the elementary, okay. they don't really focus on the subjects the you subject, are teaching. Yeah. So you yeah. teach everything. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Samuel Pa, we have answered this one. So, yes. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know that I am yeah. seeing the screen of stage. Uh, ooh, I think we, uh, we have finished with all these. I have a bachelor's degree. Integrated science. Integrated science. Yeah. Science. Yeah. I think he's. Yeah. Mr. O. Yeah. Science. science yeah. Oh, yeah. Integrated science. science. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so long as the subject you are teaching is on your certificate, you see, recently one of the applicants reached out to me and the agency told him he doesn't have enough content in the area he's teaching. So he's teaching science. But apparently, you know, I don't know, you know, there are some courses that people are doing these days, certain combinations that you realize that the content area, the majority content area is not really the science. So somebody mm-hmm. goes to school to do economics, but economics is like more of management. Mm-hmm. 
So the person will see himself as he did a part of he did certain amount of economics, but it's not enough content. Mm. I mean, for you to be whole, held as if you you qualify for that. So okay. if the science you are teaching science and you have a science degree, perfect. perfect. Let's respond to Obenda. So he says he did his interview in I mean during the Xmas and mm. period he hasn't still gotten results. That's why he okay with who. With who you did the school or you did the interview with the agency? Or bring that if you're here, could you please let us know? Because if it's with the agency, it is the timing is perfect. If it's with the mm. school, probably you didn't get through. That is why you've not heard from them. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I guess that is all. Business. <laughs> what about business education? Okay. So. Okay, so somehow we have shared some of the agencies already. Start from the beginning of this video, we mentioned some, so please. And we showed you how to do it. Even myself, I logged into my computer, I typed and I searched and I got them. Okay, so please do that. Mr. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Today has been amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate your time so much. So no guys, problem guys so we had about 70 people watching if you're watching please this video is very important you need to share so that other people will also get access if we don't share it will just stay on our page it's not gonna nobody's i mean nobody's gonna see it okay so please kindly do that for me and i'll really appreciate anybody who shares this video thank you so much okay so before we leave i mean do you have any other thing to say oh. I just want to appreciate you and thank you so much for having me on your show and uh, it's an honor to be here and uh, i want to tell the viewers that uh, this year you are supposed to i mean make the move if you are applying to schools if you are applying to um, teach you are applying for skilled workers worker visas these these things nobody is going to do it for you mm. so don't be waiting for anyone to come and do it for you we are putting out, Gina is doing her best. Nana Bafo, Peter Choco is still pouring out videos every day. People are doing their best. Just ask Nancy is giving out information. Look, you need to just learn, devote time and learn and make sure that you are applying these things and doing them on time. Because some people that have shared these videos with right from last year, February, trust me, they've not even done their transcript evaluation yet. I don't know what they are waiting for. And they are asking me if the process is over. No, it is not over, but it is who whoever goes in first. Mm. You are the one that you will be attended to first. It's first come first served. So mm. it is not like you are waiting as your time. No, the agents are not waiting for your time. You have to wait on them. You have to put in your best. So that is all I will say. And, and I will say that, hey, don't be discouraged if you don't make it this year. Next year is there. The following year is that you keep trying until you break through. Thank yes. you, Mr. O. Let's answer this very important question about his contact details, please. He has his email, um, WhatsApp number on his platform. So the first thing you need to go is go to Facebook, Mr. O.com. Yeah. Okay, kindly follow his page, reach out to him on WhatsApp, on, on email. Yeah, you can do whichever way you want so if i'm correct unless you want to add any other thing no you are correct i mean okay. my videos are on my facebook page and my youtube channel as well so mr o.com you see it everywhere both pla i'm just on these two platforms for now my TikTok, i'm not so good with TikTok. so yeah. facebook and i'm on youtube, YouTube. This, this okay i'm gonna do prince a tour here this last favor we were going but please this is the <laughs> last question <laughs> Okay, <laughs> like geography with the cons, social science, and minor, respectively. I've been teaching business school for years. Okay, if you've been teaching business school, one thing or one thing I can say about that, per the experiences I've had with people and the agents, is that mm. they may want you to have at least something in basic education. You know, that is what pulls the basic education certificate holders ahead of 
we guys. Yes, you hold an education, but I will say apply. Look, okay. you know, I don't like telling people don't apply. Yeah. You apply. And because yeah, you're yeah. elementary level, it puts you in a good battle. I mean, you will get an elementary level, I mean, job easily. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that one doesn't really count. Your qualification doesn't count. Once you can prove that you've been teaching for that number of years, I mean, you are good to go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. No more questions. No more questions. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Again, I am Gina Amy, and this is my page. We bring you educational content, sometimes entertainment and whatnot. So please, if today is your very first time watching me, do follow my page okay i just need your support that's all i need and just like the video even if you don't comment it's okay just click on the like button okay thank you so much um take care and have a really prosperous new year i am very excited that this new year i have been able to bring mr o on my show <laughs> okay so guys bye-bye we love you bye-bye <laughs>